5.9 in the textbook, uh, again, measuring the QRS complex. Um, all right, let's have a look. So finding an isoelectric line on the straight edge. So your, this is your isoelectric line about here. It's not perfectly straight, but it's pretty good. Now I'm going to change my um, ruler to go have a vertical edge. And you can see as I kind of go along here, you see the first uh, positive deflection. So that's the beginning of your QRS complex right here. Um, and then I have a downward negative deflection here. And there's a bit of a notch here, um, but it continues to go up. And that's your J point right here. Right there is your J point. Okay. Um, and then you can see that you have your, uh, your T wave here. So there's some ST elevation here. Um, from this isoelectric line up to the J point, which is there. Okay. So let me see if I can do this here. I got one hand. Does it line up almost at the beginning of that box? One, two, three, and almost here. Four, maybe three and a half to four small squares is duration of this QRS complex. Four. Yeah, three and a half to four. Um, again, you and I can be off by one small square on a test and you'll still get it right. Uh, but you are on the right track and looking at the correct things if um, you and I are having the same uh, counting dilemma of small squares on, on this particular image.